did one on a cycling tip, the protein recovery thing. Yeah. And then the other one about someone said, why did you change your diet? So we have I haven't changed my diet, there's someone for that. So I asked them, why do you think I changed my diet? Because some people maybe think I do such and such. Maybe because they show you what you're eating and because you're eating like non whole foods. Yeah, that, that's the power of these vlogs, is people get to see what I'm actually putting in my body. Yeah. Except for the EPO. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So why I changed my diet after 16 years, someone asked me on, uh, on YouTube, why I changed my diet after 16 years vegan. Um, I haven't. Someone said your diet's changed from two years ago. Please explain. So I wrote, the, wrote back to him and said, can, can you please explain where it's changed? I'm not too sure there. Um, some people still think that, uh, I think a lot of things. Here's the thing, I am very transparent with what I put in my body. And some people like that, some people hate that, some people find it really enjoyable, some people find it very interesting. So these food vlogs I'm putting up, every single day there's a food vlog coming. Every, or so I should say, every single day I film what I eat, sometimes there's a bit of a, a backlog in them uploading, due to Wi-Fi connection issues, whatever. But every single meal I'm filming from now on, every single day, They'll be uploaded maybe two in a day or three in a day, but every single day I'm recording exactly what I eat. So people know. So now I can just say to my non-vegan friends or non-vegan audience or vegans who want to increase their performance, this is what Drew Rod eats. Look how lean he is. Look at his performance on the bike. He fucking trains fuck all relative to other people of that performance level or that leanness. And this is what he does. And maybe that's what it costs. And these ingredients are easy to get all around the world. Sugar's easy to get. Rice's easy to get. Fruit's easy to get. Pasta's easy to get. Vegan pizzas relatively easy to get. Domino's in Australia do vegan pizzas. Uh, Domino's, uh, Subway Australia do vegan Subways. The, the vegan, I like to show, I like to make vegan life fucking easy. I've been vegan since April 2001, I've seen a lot of people go. The first people to go are the purists. The ones that, oh, I just eat raw food, or I just eat fruit, or I just eat greens, or I just eat fucking caterpillar dung. You know, they're the first to go. The ones who critique Duran Rider's advice. Oh, that's... Uh, and the, a year later, oh, I don't do vegan. Wasn't getting enough protein. And, uh, you know, well, no. They're eating fucking meat and shit. You know, like, it's crazy, man. How many people on YouTube, like, one year they're doing a video, Duran Rider's diet's too much sugar. Next, next one they're doing a mukbang at fucking Chick-fil-A or whatever. Sad, crazy, you know. Or, they want, or they, even they're vegans, they're like, oh, I'm a whole foodist. And then a month later, you see him <laughs> smashing in heaps of fatty, greasy vegan food, chocolate, and you know all the all the, all the uh, tasty stuff. You know the junk vegan junk food. That's fine. That's fair enough. But they should be more transparent with their audience what they do because it could be confusing. What if a new stumbles across someone's video? Oh, no, such and such is just a whole foodist. You know, um, no, they're not. You know, people need to be more transparent. So I like to encourage that transparency by leading from the front and setting the example. I put up everything I eat now. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's be transparent. Let's make it vegan life easy for anyone. If I'm coaching someone on vegan life, their life's gonna be a lot easier because they've got so much variety. It's like, fuck, I've got, I can have soda, I can have fruit, I can have more fruit, I can have fruit on top of fruit, I can have fucking Sprite in my jam, banana, sugar, shock syrup, sundae smoothie. I can have rice with sugar and cornflakes and Sultana brand and put a lentil pie on top and fill it with fucking soy sauce and barbecue sauce. Lentil pie, barbecue floater. You can do all sorts of shit. So I like to troll, but I also like to be really honest and transparent with people. And, and if you're not polarizing your audience, you're going to lose a lot of people. So I put it out there. And hopefully more people can put out these video, food videos. I'm trying to encourage that. Because people need to see what the fuck people eat. And so many people lose. Oh, this is what I ate in day, guys. No, you fucking didn't. Because I saw you later that day eating that. But you weren't proud of that. Because you were scared of getting some hate or whatever. Fuck the haters, man. Be transparent. Show people what you actually fucking eat. So then people can go, oh, I can do this. And my food, oh, your food's not that pretty. It's food's fucking fuel, man. It ain't a fucking art competition. This ain't an edible art competition, man. All right? I'm not one of those fake, pretentious, fucking Instagram hoo-ha wannabe starlets. I put up my fucking food. It looks ugly to some, but it's fuel to me, and I'm grateful to have fuel to put in my belly. All right? So it's not pretty like, oh my god, look at the perfect lighting and... Nah man, it's like, boom. Real time, real videos. Real world information to get real world fucking results. Too many people out there trying to make it too glamorous. And there's a, there's a point for that. You know, maybe to attract them in, but if, if it's daily glamour, people are like, oh, this is just too hard. One day when I'm really motivated, I'll do that. 
No, no, no. I like to just show people real world shit. That's my cycling tips, my training, everything. Real world, man, for real world results. Because I've seen too many people burn out, flake out, pull out. <laughs> I know she had a vasectomy, the last one doesn't apply. And that method doesn't even work. Vasectomy works, pull outs don't. But you want to make it realistic for people. We want to make it open for people. Make it, you know, de demonstrable. Demonstrate what's achievable, what's doable. Too many fakes in the vegan world, just vegan for the dollars. And that is unfortunate. My goal is to veganize the world. And you only do that by showing up every motherfucking day and teaching fundamentals again and again until you're blue in the fucking face. And when you're blue in the face, you turn purple. <sighs> Get another breath and do it again. That's all we're gonna do with changing the planet, man, is fundamentals again and again. And fundamentals don't really change, do they? The sun comes up, the sun comes down. Whether or not you're there, the sun doesn't give a fuck. It's coming up, it's coming down, it's moving around. The planet's always shifting. Whether you're crying in bed, dancing from the rooftop, undercarbed, overcarbed, no such thing as overcarbed, you know what I'm saying. Get it fucking done, be transparent, give fundamental advice, make it achievable for, pe achievable for people by being transparent about what you do, when and why, and give long-term examples if you can. Why did I change it after 16 years? I didn't, I just made more transparency about it. 